All right, guys, we're back with top four Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We've got the Sheriff Lowe's on the left and myself on the right. We're both playing a Body Turbo Mirror, so we'll see who's going to get back to another finals. So it looks like I went first. Open double upstart. And, yeah, let's see what else. So I set one. Yeah, set one. Do I have no monsters? Okay, so pass. Now Lowe's set. Set the monster, set the back row. Now let's see what play I make here to counter his move. Hmm. We both went X1 and Swiss. Los lost the Prince's Black Queen deck, and I actually lost the Los in a three close three game match. So anyway, he Rikos my back row, hits my D prison, he mills Vayu, bottomless Ryko. So already one Vayu off the top. I can't remember my hand, but I had to... Okay, now I couldn't see what card it was that Lowe's drew, but I, I know he has one Sirocco, so Sirocco's going to out my Gale. So here comes Rhoda. For Greffer. Activate Greffer, ditch Sirocco. So he's already got two darts. So he has a Bayou Sirocco and maybe a... Ooh. A play coming down. Or he could send Necrogarna. So he chooses the Plague. Let's see what else he's got. Three cards in his hand. I wonder what my back row is. Because all I have is a Gale up. So he goes Arm Wing. Let's see. Top deck for Plague. Oh, he didn't let me cut. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So anyway, he drops Stardust. I mean, one D-Prison is gone, so we'll see if he attacks with uh, Star. Because almost everyone plays two D-Prison, so... But he's probably going to play it safe to protect his back rows. Yeah. He's going to protect his back rows. But now we're at 10,000 to 76. And here comes Brain. Brain. Here comes the famous Brain Caius play. <laughs> so, Caius. I could have attacked also, but... I don't know, that seems risky. I could have just attacked the Greffer and maybe try to hit one of the back rows. But, like, let's he could, like, mirror force his... No. But then, like, say he mirror forces his Stardust and I just let it go. Then I can't summon my Caius. Does he have Solemn? Or would he have Solemn the Brain Control? Probably would have Solemn the Brain Control if he had. I wonder what he's debating on here. Compulse, bottomless. So he takes a thousand and will I attack? He did mill one bottomless. Now he's left with like three cards. So I did attack and set one. So now here comes Gale. Half my Caius. Attacks me for a hundred. Draw. So 66, 67. Here comes Rhoda, Armageddon Knight, Set Necro. Okay. Let's see, does Los have anything to stop this Armageddon Knight attack? Here comes a Mirror Force, so that was his out. So now he's got four cards to my four, so we're pretty even in cards. So I let the gale, I let the gale go through. <laughs> Here comes Greffer. I think I drew into Greffer, but I had nothing to uh nothing to pitch. So he takes four hundred. So now we're at sixty two fifty four, but I still have Necro in case I draw dark, I can pitch uh I can pitch a pitch something. And here comes return. Do I have anything to stop the return? No oppression, no solemn. 
I can't remember my trap lineup because like I'm always t testing out different stuff. So like sometimes I'm on double oppression, sometimes I'm on zero, sometimes I'm on uh, torrential, sometimes I'm not. Oh, I th yeah, I can't remember. So anyway, he gets Sirocco, Plague, Bayou, Dark Greffer. Now what does he do here with the return? Oh, I think I re oh I remember what was in my deck on this day. <laughs> so on this day I was re I was running a uh, triple D prison and one mirror force, which I think is too much. Heck, I mean I'm even thinking maybe two D prison one mirror force might be too much, but yeah three four, three and one is gets a little cloggy. You just draw too many cards that do the same thing. And at least with like, in like fro in the frog deck, they play like six discard traps, but you can activate those whenever. So that's why those are like, you kind of don't mind drawing like two of those. But like drawing double D prison, it's just not that great. Because like right now, Los Poly like is reading that I have a D prison back there because I couldn't stop, I couldn't stop his return. And I couldn't stop his monsters when they hit the field. So he's probably reading that I either A, I have uh, like an MST, another D prison, Mirror Force. So here he could go Black Rose. And he'll turn on his Vayu. But let's see what he decides to do. So he goes for Black Rose. 3154. Now he Caius's my mirror force that yeah it was pretty obvious I had that and then MST is my other back row, which is D prison. So now I'm at 54, and here comes Vayu and attacks. So I have to block just to stay alive. Then attack. Seventeen. Am I alive? I think I'm alive. Yeah. I'm at six hundred. I mean, my brain's gone. So what can I do? Yeah. As you can see here, I opened Mirror Force and Double D Prison. So may, I mean, I could have honestly, I could have drawn all those cards, unless if maybe one of those D Prisons would have been a different card. It's possible. I wonder if Los had Solemn, so I, I can see. Oh, no, he didn't have Solemn. Yeah, he just had Akaias for my back row and then MST for the other one. All right. But I think if he didn't have that, maybe he goes for the Black Rose play. I don't know. Anyway, game two, I'm going first. And here comes Upstart. Summon Greffer, Pitch Vayu. So do I send Necro or Sirocco here? Let's find out. So I send Necro Garna, get it out of my deck. I hate having that card in my deck. And set one and pass. So Los has Dark Armed. So he goes Greffer, Pitch Vayu, send Sirocco. Then he goes Vayu Effect, get Arm Wing, special, or he's thinking about special summoning Gale. Being aggressive. So we know he has Dark Arm. He can't, I don't think he can turn on his Dark Arm. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how he can turn on his Dark Arm. So special Gale, attacks with Gale, and I let it go through, so I take some damage there. So what do I take? It's uh, 850, 450, 17, and 23. So that leaves me at 3550. And then Synchro's for... Or he's thinking about leaving them up. Maybe, because remember, we saw Dark Arm in his hand. So he's trying to make Dark Arm live. So he might shut off, potentially shut off his Dark Arm. But I don't, I don't know the rest of the cards in his hand. 
So he sets, end phase, dust, the D prison. I was testing this out. I'm not sure if I'm going to side. Actually, I think that was in my main deck, so I just left it in. I was testing out one dust in the main, and... All right, let's see if I can counteract this field. You know, in the mirror, I, I actually didn't expect him to swarm me like that, turn one. Okay, let's see what I could have done. So here comes Sirocco, pump. So I'm debating on which one to attack over, so... I choose the arm wing because he can make, like, level eights with the arm wing. I think that's why I went after after that one. So now we're at 45 to 35.50. So here comes Dark Arb. I'm at 35.50. Have I used my... Here comes Burial, and that's game unless if I have Gores. And I scoop. Yeah, I don't have Gores, even through the Necro. So, yeah, that second game was quick. Um, yeah, my hand just wasn't that good. I had, like, a bunch of normal summons, Raikou, and no defense. The only trap card I drew was a Dust Tornado. So I was going back to the finals, and we'll be back soon for the other top four match to see who his opponent will be. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.